Hello all. In this video, I'll show you how to build Linux image for Bigger Blue and Black using Yocto project. The first step is to find out what is the latest stable version of the Yocto project. So if you go to the releases, you can see that there are a couple of releases which we have and out of this, the support level is the long-term support is for the Kirkstone. The project version is 4.0. I will use the Kirkstone for this build. So before that, we need to install certain dependencies. So we use the sudo optkit install and these are all the, the required tools for the build. And here I enter the password. So as you can see, I have installed all of this. The next step is to clone the Pokey repository. So git clone minus b clickstone. This is the branch that we want. So it will take some time. Now that we have cloned the Pokey repository, the next we will create a directory called bbb. That's where we are going to build. So after creating the directory, we see that the pokey is here and the bbb is where we want to build. So let's initialize the environment. So with this command, we are initializing the, the build environment for the BeagleBone Black. So here you can see that we didn't have conf local dot conf file. So this configuration file was therefore being created for us, uh, okay, which was created from the Kirkstone meta copy conf conf dot local sample. So and if I go and see ls. Okay, now also the directory is uh, switched or the change to BPP builds. So this is where you have the con and ls ls con and you can see that the local con got created and we need to edit this to build for vehicle bone black. So let's edit this using vm. Vim. and here what I would do is I change the machine to BeagleBone Yocto and comment out any other thing and I save it right and quit okay so now that we have configured to build for BeagleBone Black In order to build the minimal image, we use this command bitway core image minimal. So it is going to take a lot of time. It's almost like it will take half a day or based on your uh, CPU or your computer resources. So in the interest of time, so what I've done is I have already built the, the image, the Linux image for BeagleBone Black and I'll show you how to 
flash it and run it on the Google Moon Black. I have already built the image for the Google Moon Black and it will be located in the build directory and if you have to navigate to the temp under that you have a folder or the directory called deploy under deploy you have images and after that you have beagle bone yocto in this directory we have all the images that are present so out of which uh, you can see the mlo and the u-boot uh, these are generated separately but we have something called the core image minimal beagle bone yocto and the rotfs.wic so we will use the dd utility to extract the image from this and uh, install it to a sd card and then from there we will run the linux So I need to go to CD temp deploy images in Beagle Bone Block Yocto. As I said, this is where the the images are. Okay, so these are all images as I shown before. So the thing is that we need to delete all the partitions of the SD card. So I will go to disk utility. And here I have the 8 GB SD card. So I will delete it. I will first delete the partition. And I freed all the memory in this. So there is only one partition with 8 GB. And then I use the DD command, DD utility to to the rest of the work so here here you can see this command input file is the core image minimal beagle bone yocto dot wic the output folder is the dev stb and the bs is basically the block size that will be kind of used to write into the disk okay so permission denied i need to run it as a sudo so it will take a couple of seconds Okay, and it is written and if you go to the disk, you can see that the partitions are created, the board partition, the root partition. So I can use this SD card to basically boot, boot the Beagle Bone Black. So I will close this. I will eject. here is the sd card and i would insert it into the sd card slot so this is the the button where i need to press it and switch on the device so that it boots from the the sd card We can see now that the SD card is booting. Okay, these are all the startup blocks. And you can see that what we have built is the Poki Yocto Project Reference Distro. 4.0.6 Beagle Bone Yocto. So 4.0.6 is the 
the grip stone whatever we have used so you hit the 4 out 0 and i think what i'm using is the 4 out 0 dot 6 not the 0 dot 5 because i'm i'm in the month of december okay then i will log into this and then if i see the u name minus a so it will show the the computer name and the, the linux version that it is using the linux beagle bone yakto the kernel is 5.15.54 yakto standard and this is the architecture the arm v7l the gnu linux the linux is running on the beagle bone black so as you can see that there are a lot of processes that are running so that means the linux is running smoothly in the beagle bone black so that's it for this video if you like the video please do share with others subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about embedded linux embedded systems and internet of things thanks for watching if this video helped you in learning, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, share with anyone who is interested to learn more about embedded Linux and Internet of Things. Leave a comment below for any feedback or discussion.